Today we're learning more about the inmate who died over the weekend at the Hampton Roads Regional Jail. Officials say 32-year-old Regina Marie Honeycutt suffered a medical emergency. She died Sunday at the hospital. Ten on your side's Kayla Gaskins spoke with her family today. Well, Stephanie and Laura, I spoke with Regina's sister, Athena, on the phone, and she said that most of all, she wants answers. Regina's sister said she was in excellent health and had no medical conditions. So when her family received a phone call this weekend from the hospital saying Regina was in critical condition, they were shocked. It's a phone call no family member wants to get. Regina Honeycutt's family says the last time they saw her, she was healthy and excited to meet her new baby niece. Her sister and father said it's still a very emotional time and they weren't ready to talk on camera. Officials with the Hampton Roads Regional Jail say on Saturday night, the 32-year-old suffered some sort of medical emergency. She was reportedly taken to the hospital. Then her family received a call to let them know she was in critical condition. Family members say when her dad got to the hospital, Regina wasn't responsive. She passed away a short time later, just before 11 a.m. Sunday morning. Regina Honeycutt was serving a three-year sentence for a probation violation. She was on probation for a malicious wounding felony conviction from 2009. She was just moved to the Hampton Roads Regional Jail on Friday. The family says no one has been able to answer any of their questions so far, and they still don't know what caused her death. Today, we reached out to jail officials and the medical examiner's office. Both were out for the holiday. And this is a story we will continue to follow as more information becomes available. I'm Kayla Gaskins, 10 on your side. Kayla, thank you. And the Hampton Roads Regional Jail has come under fire in recent years following other inmate deaths. In August of 2015, an investigation showed 24-year-old Jamichael Mitchell died of starvation. And in 2016, six-year-old Henry Clay Stewart died two days after asking for medical help. Both families filed lawsuits against the jail. Stewart's family settled earlier this year.